verbally, I don't I'm just post. Happy I made it happen, you know. Usually I don't post, but I want the world to know. Welcome to my Bali vlog. Have a good one. Bye. For Shanika, yeah. Bye. so tired it has been a very long travel day this is the first time i'm talking to the camera just because i've been on the go the time i got to the airport till the time i landed and then getting here so it is currently 9 22 p.m left new york at like 1 30 in the morning on wednesday and i got here in bali at like 4 p.m i ended up getting my hair braided here it is a bit cheaper i don't feel like doing my hair for this trip but welcome to my bali vlog i'm super excited to be here i am on a solo trip again this is somewhere i've always wanted to go to even if i go by myself i'm gonna make it happen this year so i'm currently in abud i went further and then i'm gonna go closer to the airport like towards the end of the trip but i am staying in three different accommodations so this is the first one and it's a hotel the other two are airbnbs i think my travel day was like 24 hours and that's probably the longest i've done i know we went to the philippines when we were younger but like i don't really remember it but i feel like it's about the same i'm about to pass out i will see you guys tomorrow finally ready for the day i need to head out soon because i'm heading to a cooking class it's an airbnb experience that i booked and it's at nine o'clock and i think it's about 40 minutes away because it's a little after eight and i don't want to be late let me show you the outfit really quick so i can go ahead and head out is the whole thing in it i have no idea i cannot see that far this is my outfit the set is from h&m i wore it for our birthday in costa rica three or four years ago this will be perfect for this weather because it's like a towel material but these are just some white nikes my regular on route jewelry just ordered this before i came this is from amazon and then these earrings i can't think of the brand right now but i'll pop it on screen when i figure it out that is the look I'm wearing this bowling bag purse also from h&m i need to leave let's go Yeah. 
goodness. So I'm finally back at the hotel. The cooking class was good. The first location I went to was the wrong location. So I was two hours late to this class because it's a little after eight and I don't want to be late. Luckily, they were understanding. And since I was the only one in the cooking class, they were okay with it. The host was really nice. Food was really good. I just saw like a monkey. Yeah. What is that? It's not a squirrel. I wanted to go to the monkey forest, but it's raining. I don't think that would be like too enjoyable. Later today, I'm gonna go get a pedicure and a massage. That's close to my hotel. I'm not gonna have food tonight, so I might as well go out to get something. ready give me like five more minutes and i'll be down yes 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 okay thank you so much see you bye morning everybody so it is currently 3 30 in the morning that was my driver that just called me picked me up to go to like a sunrise volcano mountain lookout spot pickup time was 3 30 i woke up super early at like 2 30 to get ready it is still currently raining which sucks i wanted to bring my drone the weather is not allowing me to so this is what i am wearing today this dress this is from zara one piece nice flowy piece and then i was gonna wear these sandals you can't really see them so i think i'm gonna wear my sneakers again i'll bring it just in case and i also got a pedicure yesterday so my toes look nice but i'm about to put my jewelry on and head out the door So I'm at a swing, the location. It's not the famous one, but it's similar. I feel like they all look the same. Pay for the photo opportunities and videos. So they have people at each section that help you take photos and videos. I think it's like 10 total or eight total. Look, I did my little four. I think I'm good. My phone was also dying. It was on 2%. So I asked them to charge my phone while I eat lunch because I didn't eat too much this morning. So I'm kind of hungry and also kind of tired. I saw the sunrise this morning. It was really nice. And then we went to like this volcano ash location and then i went to a hot springs once i finish this we're going to go back to the hotel and then i'm calling them i have to go to sleep i want to be in the house
head hurts so bad. So today is Sunday. I pushed my dinner reservation for as late as I could. I ended up going at seven at the Scion house. I think it's a hotel, but they have like a restaurant attached to it. It was a really nice view. It was just dark and I passed out super early at like 10.30. And because I passed out so early, I have been up since 4.30 this morning. I actually slept on this couch here. And honestly, it was very comfortable there. The time is over in Abood. It's like 10.45 right now and checkout is at 12. I'm glad I have a little bit of room just to chill. I really want to go to Labrisa for the Sunday market. I feel like I've been trying to jam pack my days. Trying to just take it easy. I know tomorrow I don't have anything planned. Oh, I can also do a room tour now that everything's kind of cleared out. Let me show you the room before I check out. Okay, so this is the front entrance. I am in suite three if you ever want to stay here. I also have this outdoor seating area. I didn't sit out here too much because it was raining like the first two days. And then I have this lovely view of the pool and seating area down there. But when you enter the room, this is everything that you see. The bed is right here. We have this little couch. It is very deep. And then they have this table and this little rat and poof, that scratchy hard texture. Not comfortable to sit on. I have to go on Expedia where I booked it and find out the name of the room and I'll just pop it on the screen. And then you turn this way, a little TV here, a little fridge, and then more storage. This is like the wardrobe closet and like vanity area, which I really like how they use like this space for that. It's like a full rack. Honestly, this is bigger than my New York closet. And then they have a drawer down here and they also have a drawer here. The lighting is not the best. So it's kind of hard for me to do my makeup sometimes, especially doing my eyeliner and then like putting on my lashes because I need to get really close. They have a desk area. They have a little tea kettle and then a few waters for you. Oh no, the lights. This is the bathroom. As you can see, it has like a floating sink. Like how they have these open shelves. I feel like the faucet is kind of on its last leg. And then over here in this tray, they have like toothbrushes and shower caps. Over here is the toilet. The tub on this side is actually a pretty big tub and a big bathroom in general. I don't know if you can tell. Not a tub person, so didn't use this. This is the shower. Water pressure is really nice. But yeah, that is pretty much the bathroom. I have, I think like four. 40 minutes until I check out. I reached out to the Airbnb and check-in is at two. I think it's only gonna take me an hour, maybe an hour and a half if there's traffic. Uh, I hope it's not gonna rain today. I just checked into my Airbnb. I'm currently in Chonggu and I wanted to do the room tour before I totally mess it up or I come back and it's dark. Let me show you the room. So this is the front entrance. You turn this way and it goes into the room. So this is pretty much the room. I believe this is a queen size bed and I love the wood finishes with the pop of color of yellow. The design of this place was done really well. And it's actually pretty spacious. We have the side tables, this desk area over here with a little fridge, little tea and cups and also a few shelves i don't know what i would use it for but it's there this door is actually the toilet so the toilet is separate from the rest of the bathroom right next to the bathroom is the closet so it's like an open concept closet and then they also come with slippers down here because i didn't bring any slides or like house shoes straight across from the toilet is the shower and tub you can enter the shower through here nice little rain head shower and then as you can see the sink is over on the other side there's also this little seating area in the corner and what really sold me for this airbnb is that it comes with its own private pool they do have a separate pool that's in the front like when you check in i kind of just wanted my own private pool like i don't do swimming that much because low-key cannot swim for my birthday i should have my own pool but they have this sliding door and it has steps that go straight into the pool which is really nice and then over here is the sink it comes with all these nice little goodies if you forgot anything and then we'll go outside mm -mm -mm. From this front entrance is like this little walkway, which also really love the look of it. You walk this way and here's the pool. And then from this point of view, you can pretty much see the entire room. So that is the room tour. I'm glad I got that out the way. It's 2.12 and I still wanna go to Risa for the Sunday market. So I think I'm just gonna call a grab bike. I'm not gonna change clothes. I was going to, but we're just gonna take it easy today. Uh, how much? 
800. Can we do 500? How much just for one? 450? We only have six. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Just like that, we are back at the Airbnb and I got something at the market. So let me show you. I got two of the same items. So it is this top. Well, she said it was a dress, but I'm probably just gonna wear it at the top. I got it in a different color as well. I feel like I should have only got this color, but it's fine. Really cute. And that is my first clothing purchase of the trip. Actually, let me try it on. So I feel like it's supposed to be like this, maybe. Look a little back. Also wear it kind of off the shoulder. It's bigger than I thought it would be. And then imagine it in the olive green color. There is this bar that I want to go to and they're supposed to do Afro beats on Sundays. I haven't experienced any nightlife here and I feel like this is kind of the area to do it. And then on Monday, there's this other popular place that I've been seeing. I can't think of what it's called right now, but I think they do hip hop to new music on Mondays. And since my birthday is on Tuesday, it was like, might as well celebrate going into my birthday. That is the plan, but I'm about to sit here and like unpack and just veg out and I'm so excited. everybody so it is currently 8 30. i'm going to see some animals today and i'm super excited i didn't get a chance to go to the monkey forest when i was in abud i signed up for the elephant sanctuary i think i'm just gonna get breakfast at the airbnb because they have like a restaurant out front also i did not go out last night like i passed out at 7 p.m i woke up at like midnight and i was like oh okay I really wanted to go out but like i guess i was just really tired i have a reservation at 7 30 tonight so the restaurant is called semester it's like a family style type of dinner so it's like a big table they serve all the food and you just kind of get what you want i'm excited about that just because i feel like i've been eating by myself which is fine i enjoy my alone time i like to sit in silence most of the time this should be a good experience to be around people you know see where they're from that's the plan for today it's a very busy one i'm the type of person like i need to keep going because if i come back like i'm going to sleep and i will take you guys along but i need to finish my makeup Did my little wash and I'm just kind of walking around the area. Really fun experience. I kind of smell like animal right now. I think I'm gonna go to the monkey forest after this and then head back to the Airbnb. You're balancing on a ledge right now, so if it falls, I'm not getting this camera back. So I mean.
it is the next day. I'm not hungover, but I did have a lot to drink last night. I thought it was gonna be empty. It was actually packed. I had a really good time. I met people from all over the world. I didn't get a video of it, but they had like a birthday celebration type thing for me and this other girl. Today, I am super excited. I am going to the infamous Body Works Spa. I'm getting a massage for 70 minutes and then I'm also getting a facial. Today is officially my birthday here. I am 31 today and that's so crazy to think about. I'm really grateful to be here. This is like my dream trip. I'm just happy I made it happen, you know? Other than the spa, like I don't have plans. Just chill by the pool and then maybe get some food later. Okay, I hope you can see the whole fit. So this is the look I am going for. This bag has been a lifesaver because I've just been throwing everything in it. So I'm not gonna wear this top. It's only supposed to be this swimsuit top. I feel like it ties in the green at the bottom to cover up like I'm gonna wear that top. And since these pants are a little long, I do have these like white sandal heels on. I feel like it fits the vibe of the place color wise. <laughs> been out for like four and a half hours so i just got back from the spa this bakery that i saw online that i want to pick up a few slices of cake they're smaller than i thought it would be but i'm also glad that they're small so i wanted carrot cake and red velvet they didn't have red velvet she suggested banana cake so i was like oh okay oh god please don't fall this is the carrot cake and this is the banana but also i can eat this faster gonna have that because birthday i ended up buying a perfume from the spa i don't want to unbox it but i'll show you I believe it was only like $33. The brand is Sanso, S-A-N-S-O-E. And the scent is Rosen, a little memoir from Bali. So it is 312, just ordered some food, a burger and fries. I'm basic, I haven't eaten anything all day. It's nice and sunny outside, so I think I'm just gonna sit by the pool and watch some YouTube videos or watch a movie or something. Cause I feel like I've been on the go and I just need to take a break. I'm so excited for this food to come. the next day and it is my last day in this airbnb i have an hour until checkout and sadly my drone i was so close i was right here by my unit and it kind of hit a wall so it fell in my pool right at the step so i grabbed it out as fast as i could and i'm kind of just letting it sun dry right now there it is there just drying in the sun i was like right above here it was clear and everything and it was like lowered here and then it like hit one of these things and then it fell right here on the steps hopefully it doesn't have water damage it is super hot today so i don't want to be out for too long i have a few things planned we're gonna go to a restaurant and maybe a cafe i guess i'll probably see you guys at the next airbnb It is currently 1.30. I am in Simiac for the rest of my trip. This Airbnb is really cute. It's actually the smallest of them all, but I honestly don't need that much room. Let me do a quick room tour, and I think I'm about to head back out and just walk to like a restaurant or something. I didn't eat yet. Let me show you the room. This is the entrance here, and as soon as you come in, there's a little seating area, and then right beside that is the bed. I really like how they utilize this space. It has the two floating side tables, which are really cute, and I would say this is more like bohemian style. Style. What you see in front of the bed is the desk area and then also a TV and I like that they have a mirror right here. You step this way, the kitchen, very small but honestly like I'm not going to use it and I really like these chairs. You said the water filter is down.
down here. Cups and cutlery are up here. Oh, and I have a microwave. I don't know what it is, but Airbnbs usually don't have microwaves. And then a small fridge right here. And then right beside the kitchen is the shower. And then also toilet and sink in this back corner. That is the room tour. It is very cute and quaint. It's in a really good location. The restaurant I wanted to go to is like a short walk from here. So I was like, oh, that's perfect. I'm gonna turn the AC up a little bit and then I will get my day started. Right now, I feel like it's like peak hot. I'm gonna take it easy for 30 minutes. everybody so today is thursday it is 8 47 i wanted to get an early start today because i think i'm just gonna cafe hop honestly really don't have plans today other than tonight I have a k dinner reservation tonight at nine it's supposed to be i think a seven or nine course meal but it's in uluwatu so it's about an hour and a half away from here it's like closer to the airport kind of no it's not it's like past the airport in a different direction i know there's gonna be traffic oh my god my battery's dying hold on okay we're back i hope it's in the same spot as i mentioned yesterday i did crash my drone now it's not turning on at all i looked up a drone repair near me i think i'm gonna drop my drone off today and see if they're able to do anything since it is water damage i don't know if they can recover it but hopefully we'll see i took it very casual with my outfit let me show you what i'm wearing this is the only angle that i could get this like crochet knitted tank top is from urban outfitters this is perfect for bali because it's very breathable i just have bralette from kith underneath and then these linen pants these are thrifted i want to be comfy with my shoe selection today so i'm just wearing my yellow nikes and then the first cafe i want to go to is kim su it's actually like a furniture store slash cafe but it's like a 10 minute walk from here let's get this day started I went to the first cafe. Food was really good. I just didn't want to force myself to eat again. So after Kim Su, I went to the drone repair place. He said that he should be able to fix it, but he'll let me know tomorrow. Much, much later. It is many hours later. It is currently 7.07. .07. You can't see full body. I believe this dress is from Rethread. Honestly, I might not even get pictures in it tonight. The cons of traveling solo. Just some brown kitten heels. They're pretty comfortable. And then I'm meeting a few friends that I met when I was at Motel Mexicola. They're from Australia and they were really nice. We're gonna try to meet tonight. They recommended La Favela, which I actually had on my list of places I wanted to go to. We'll see you guys there. I'm super excited. Thank you. 
feel like I done put this camera in every spot possible. It's currently 9.49. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I have my tattoo appointment at 11. And I found this place on Instagram. I waited until my last day to get it. I knew I would be out in the sun a lot. I don't think I'm gonna do much after my appointment. I do have to go pick up my drone. The guy was able to turn it on, but he said that there's something wrong with my camera and possibly my power board. He won't be able to fix it before I leave. I'll insert a video that he sent me. That's what happened when I turned it on initially and then it didn't turn back on. Dinner last night was really nice. It's a really cool experience. Very small portions, but I was very full by the end of it. Highly recommend if you want to check it out. I didn't end up meeting my two friends that I met like two days ago. I'm just going to meet up with them later tonight from the restaurant last night. They gave everybody little desserts to take away. I'm kind of hungry right now, so I guess I will eat these. Can we see that? Here we go. So I think this is like a chocolate mousse and then I don't know what these two are, but we can try it together. Oh, it's like a cookie with something in the middle. Hmm, is it pistachio? Not bad. Oh, it's moist. It's kind of like pound cake. Cute. Yeah, it's like a pound cake. Not bad. And then there's this. Feels like a chocolate mousse. Smells like chocolate. Mm. Mm. Is it like a ganache? Is that what it's called? That was pretty good. It'll hold me over for right now. I guess I can show you guys what I'm wearing today. This top, this is from ASOS. A little backless number. Thought it was perfect because it has been really hot. These shorts, these are from Kith. This is my first time wearing it. Like, I cut the tag and everything. It's like a windbreaker material. I'm just wearing my yellow Nikes per usual. Honestly, I don't even know why I brought little purses. You live and you learn. Guess I'm gonna go ahead and head out. Before I sit here any longer, I'm gonna be late to my appointment. That's my outfit. Let's go. officially time for me to leave Bali. My flight isn't until 7 p.m. tonight, but I have to check out of the Airbnb at 11. It's like 8.45, but I need to go pick up my drone because I didn't pick it up yesterday. I think I'm just gonna go to like one cafe. I love all of my tattoos. I got a total of six yesterday. So here's one. I have one right here, I have one here, and then this one is my favorite one. This is a portrait of me and my dad when we were in Florida. And then I got him to write, love you, honey. I also have this one back here. You can kind of see it, but I attach some littering to my plain tattoo. This one hurts so bad. I will leave them on the screen if you want to check them out if you're ever in Bali. This is the current chaos of my room right now. All of this stuff that I have to pack up. The thought of filling these suitcases up again, like I already had struggles when I was coming here. I'm not excited about it. I get a more. It's okay. Do you think I will be able to get it fixed when I get back in yeah, the States? A long inspection. Ah, yeah. got it. Okay, no worries. Okay, good. Yeah. Laundry is secured. 10.45, so I have 15 minutes to pack everything up, and I think I can do it. Okay. <laughs> 